and welcome back to the adventures of Nick and Kemplum. Kemplum saying that we uh, should do the rescue again today. I think last time I focused a little bit too much on my story. Not enough on the game. I was a little bit distracted by the story. It's an interesting balance. Talking completely to myself. <laughs> um, you have to pay attention to the game, but you also have to... You know, have something interesting to say. And not just be completely silent while the game's going. Because, let's be real, no one wants to watch... Be completely silent while I play this game. There is a lot of Baltroys and, uh. Well, some Spiros. It's not what I was thinking of. There was another type of Pokemon that I was concerned about last time. Okay, we need to beat them. Yes! That's not what I meant to do. It's a little irksome to me that Kemplum being defeated means that I am also defeated. What's Kemplum's health at? Can I... That's the wrong button. Kemplum! How's your health doing, bud? Uh, she's okay. She's, she's worse than me, but as long as I keep walking, she should be. I don't think I brought my water down with me, so I might need to grab water after this episode, because hydration is important, as we all know. Hopefully I level up in this episode, because I think Kemplum is... Oh, but Kemplum is level 8, I believe. And I'm level 7. No, I'm level 8, too. Okay. Well, hopefully Kep Kemplum and I can both level up in this episode. And also, hopefully we can get some level of something done. I guess not in this particular moment. No, it's alright. I don't even know what I was rambling about last time. No. I think I, think I just mostly talked about golf. Colorado, and I think I think that's a big part of why Connor and I have had a hard time figuring out times to record. Because you know, first of all, there's a, there's a two-hour difference, and that that was something that I had trouble with because I have a lot of friends in Alberta, which is where I'm from. Uh, when I moved to Ontario, which is where I currently live, um, there was a lot of trouble kind of keeping track of when people can do things, because I wasn't able to do things until later for them, because I would have dinner in the late evening for them. But for them, I would be available to you know, do whatever we were doing significantly later than they were willing to be able to do, because they had work, they had school, they had to get up early, and I was keeping them up. Like, for me, it was like 10 o'clock, but it was midnight. And now we kind of have the reverse thing, where for... No, that must be wrong. For me, it was midnight, and for them, it was 10. I got this all backwards. Uh, because I'm thinking of it right now. Right now, that's how it is for me and Connor. Like, you'll all be having dinner, and it'll be 7 for him. And then I'll be available to do 
recording afterwards, and then he'll have to go to bed shortly after because, you know, he wants, he wants to have a reasonable schedule. Uh, so when I get back to Ontario, it should be better. Kimplum, you and I need to go do some of the dungeon, I think. We're gonna go to Thunderwave Cave. I made a mistake. I didn't choose it. I didn't choose it. Mission. That's all right. Hell yeah, we're doing way better now. Uh, so when I think, I think, I think when we get back, when, when I get back to Ontario, um, I'm gonna be able to record with Connor more than I am now. You know, mo mostly because we'll be living in the same building. So it'll be kind of hard for either of us to avoid each other. <laughs> we'll be uh, right across the hallway from each other. It's a very small hallway. And... I don't know what we'll be doing. Then we, I have since talking about the fact that we don't have videos that we have planned, uh, put out a list of videos that either I want to do, or he wants to do, or somebody else has suggested that we do. And so we have that now. We have, we have this kind of list of. He doesn't know about it because, like I said, I haven't heard from him in a little while. Um, but we kind of have like a, a plan for what we're doing, and I'm hoping that when I get back we can kind of follow that a little bit more. This was kind of this was kind of part of the plan playing this game, but it was like far down the line. And that I ended, I ended up doing it on my own because I I enjoyed this game and I don't know I felt like playing it <laughs> so I did I think I might be this day done no okay I think in the first mystery dungeon game I played you to fight like an enemy in the first dungeon that you come across. Uh, as I was saying, uh, I think fossil fighters might be something that we come back to around the time I get back to Canada. Which, as long as things go as they should, should be in, I think, about a week, which is kind of, kind of crazy. I've been here for several months, and all of a sudden, here I am, a few days away from returning back to my country. Oh, Kempo leveled up, too. Well, it seems like this episode's going slightly better for us. We've leveled up, and, uh... Yeah, look at that. My health's up to 42. I know that in the normal Pokemon games, you kind of get, like, a bonus if you don't level up. Or if you don't evolve, like, your, uh... Oh, Kempo. If you don't evolve your low evolved Pokemon for quite a while, they get like increased stat bonuses or something for a while. Like you you get like extra attack and extra defense and all that stuff. As opposed to if you just evolve as soon as you can, like you won't increase that stuff as much and like the attacks that you can learn that are better take longer to learn and stuff like that. Whoa! There's 
several days of failing and then one day of doing nothing, we got some. Anyway, I'm not sure how that much that applies to this game because uh, I don't really know how evolution. I don't know how evolution works in this game. Ugh. Sorry about that. I know that you can evolve later in the game. But I think it's something that's, like, available once you complete the main story. Gotta rescue you, Diglett. Kimplum and I are gonna rescue... ...the Diglett. Now to steal. I don't know how far we got last time. I don't think we got very far. Let's just wander around a little bit and let the enemies come to us. Now. Look at that. Pretty straight. Gosh dang it. Uh, Mudslap. Let's try it. Didn't do anything. I made a poor decision. Camplum, you got this, my friend. Look at me, blah. Blah. No, Camplum, you gotta stop doing that, man. I mean, you gotta stop doing that, friend. so I can not be this underpowered anymore. Just wander around a little bit and get some extra health. Oh, a thing to talk about, I suppose. I watched the, uh, the Netflix series Hunters. Day. We finished it, you and my dad. Um, I actually wasn't, because like I said last episode, I was feeling not that great, so I was uh, not there for the entire episode. And I kind of missed a bunch of stuff, and, spoiler alert, the main character ends up killing another major character. And I was quite surprised by that. I think mostly because I didn't know what was going on. Um, which is my fault. Still, at the same time, it's kind of it's kind of weird watching it and not quite knowing what was going on. Gosh dang it, Kemplum. Kemplum, no. I don't have any orange berries, Kemplum. Stop using Rowl. Just attack them. Gosh dang it, I'll get Kemplum. saving my adventure. Wait, what did I do? Uh, I'll just quit doing that. No point in awaiting my salvation. It's not coming. Keep doing this. I'm enjoying this. This is a good time. Anyway, I'm gonna grab some water because my 
my mouth is getting a little bit dry from half an hour of talking and no water. So, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, yeah, please, please let me know. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Thank you.